students my name is pooja arora and i am assistant professor in biani group of colleges on behalf of guru kpu.com i am giving you a video lecture on the subject of discrete mathematics and in our first lecture we have some basic introduction and today i am going to discuss about the set theory so before we starting the set theory let us understand that what is set set is uh, if i define the set it is a collection of well defined objects and what is that in our daily routine if we say that set of books set of students set of flowers anything that is a set means collection of any objects is called a set but uh, the problem is ki how we can define or how we can notate the set mathematically means in the branch of mathematics in discrete max how we can say that this is a set so th there are two type to represent a set mathematically the very firstly we have already noted it the notation of set in which this is the name of the set and in the curly braces there are the elements in the set for example if we are saying that this is a set of books then these are history english and maths these are the books which are in the set so this is the first way to represent a set in discrete mathematics and what is the another way the second way is like this to represent the set in this form means in the curly braces what we denote we denote a value x a variable x that is assumed to be any variable any element in the set and we define x in this way mathematically that for all x belongs to n x is less than 5 what is this these are some symbols used in set theory in discrete mathematics they have their own meanings we have already listed the symbols first symbol is for all it is listed here it is for for all that means all the element in the set and that belongs to n this symbol relate to belongs to means these are all elements belongs to capital n what is capital n capital n is a set of natural number that are the basic set in mathematics some natural numbers set of integers set of real numbers set of rational numbers so these are the basic set of dm so what i define in my set that for all x belongs to natural n x is less than 5 so what i have in a i have in a the natural numbers which are less than 5 so basically i have the set this 1 2 3 4 these are the element i can define it in this presentation or in this presentation both are valid and both are exactly same you can represent in this way or you can represent this way the symbol is belongs to or not belongs to for example if i say that this is a element 1 and this is in the set a so i will write 1 belongs to capital a but if i say 7 7 is not in the say set so i will say 7 is not belongs to capital a so this symbol relate only to the belongs to um, belongs to feature means this element is in set or not in the set so we define it by the uh, symbols belongs to or not belongs to okay and uh, what we go now that type of set means different type of set in the dm we can define the very firstly we have a null set null set as the uh, name represent null means nothing or void so null set is a set in which there is no element it's an empty set that is called null set so we can define it by the empty curly braces as we have already seen but we can also say it null set it is re represented by a phi symbol so wherever we use null set we use the phi symbol that is denote the null set the second type of set is single tone set single tone set means the set which has only single element only one element that is called single tone set any one of element so if i define a set like this a set only one element having a then this set is called a single tone set the third type of set is finite set this all type of set belongs to the cardinality of the set or the number of element in the set means we are dividing the type, uh, set according to the number of elements means zero elements and one elements and then finite set means finite number of elements in a set any finite number of element for example order of a is equal to finite then this is a finite set for example if i say this this is also a finite set because there are one two and three elements in the set that's why this is a finite set and then what is infinite set infinite set is the same that uh, in which 
number of elements are infinite. Infinite number of elements, then the set is called infinite. And number of elements are also represented by the order of set, order of A, order of the set name, then it will be infinite, the set is called infinite set. The next type of set is called equivalent set. Equivalent set means if we have two sets and we have to say that these sets are equivalent or not. How we can check? We can check by if order of A equal to order of B, then we say that or set A and set B are equivalent set. For example, if we have set A like x1, x2, x3 and if we have a set B like 4, 5 and 6, these two set, these two set number of elements are exactly same, 3 elements in set A, 3 elements in set B, then these two set are called equivalent set, that is why we have the definition order of A equal to order of B, then two sets are called equivalent set. And the next type of set is equal set, and what is equal set, that is a, a minor difference between equal set and equivalent set, equal set are those in which order of set A equal to order of set B as well as elements are also same. So, if you take this example, this is example of equivalent set, but this is not example of equal set. If we take example of equal set, then we have x1, x2 and x3, then in the set B, it must be equal to x1, x2 and x3. If the elements are also same, then we can say that these are, two, these two sets are equal set. So, these are the type of set, first set, null set, singleton set, finite set, infinite set, equivalent set and equal set. And these are the symbol used, this uh, basic set in mathematics, natural set, integer type of set, set of real numbers, set of rational number. These two symbols are belongs to and not belongs to, I have already defined. For all symbol, we have already used, there exist, means if a condition apply on some elements of a set, then we go with this symbol. For all, if the condition apply to all the elements of the set, then we go with the condition with for all symbol. If the condition apply from for, for some of the elements in the set, then we go with this symbol, there exist. And then these two symbols are for the subset, this is the another topic. Now we are going to discuss about our subtopic that is subset. We have already defined that what is set. Now you, you have, now you know that what is set, how can we represent a set mathematically and the basic type of set we have already discussed. Now the basic concept in set theory another is a subset. What is subset? Subset is a property of a set. For example, if I have two sets, set A and set B and I say that if every element of set A is also in set B, then the set A is called the subset of set B. I repeat, if every element of set A is also present in set B, then the set A is called the subset of set B. Means, for example, if I take example, set A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and set B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In this example, I have that every element of set A, set 1, it is also present in set B, set uh, next element is 2, 2 is also present in B, 3, 3 is also present in set B. So, according to the definition, every element of set A is also present in set B, then we can say that set A is a subset or a subset of set B. Now, the symbol for the subset we use is this. This is a sub symbol of subset or equal to. How we read it? We read it that a is a subset or equal to B. That means that either A is in B or A is equal to B. That means either A is in B or A is equal to B. So, these are two def definition included in this one symbol that is a symbol of subset, but the condition apply that if A is not equal to B, then A is called a proper set. That means A is not equal to B means all the elements are not same, equal means we have already discussed that what is equal set, if all the elements are same, then two sets are called equal set. Then if all the elements of set A is not equal to the all the elements of set B, then it is not a proper subset, it is a subset. But then in our example, we have seen that A is not equal to B, 
a is not equal to b and every element of set a is also in set b then a is called the proper subset of set b so in our example what is a a is a proper subset of set b and what is the symbol for use for proper subset that this symbol is used for proper subset so this is for proper subset and this is for subset and equal to so in our example a is a proper subset of b but then we can have another example in which a is equal to b and we use this symbol to denote that a is a subset or equal to b so according to this property we have derived that this is a set and we have to derive the subset of this set means how uh, how many subsets we can derive from this one set for example if i take this this is a subset of a this is a subset of set a because every element of this set is also in a so this is a subset of a so in this way we can derive many of subset how many subsets we can derive this is also a subset this is also a subset 1 2 3 and 1 2 this is a set it's also a subset of set a we can derive the subset 1 2 1 3 1 then 2 3 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so these are subset we can derive from this set in how we derive these subset we have a set a in which we have three elements so we, what we have to do we have to derive some subsets we derive a set a in which only one element is there one this is a subset of a this is a subset of a this is a subset of a in this way we have these type of subset all are the subset of set a we agree because all the elements of this set is also a element of this so this is a subset of a so how many subsets we can derive we have derived uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 subset of a set a in which we have three elements and what is the last subset we have derived it is the set itself so this is a basic property of any subset that every subset is a subset of itself i have already denoted these two property which are too much important that every set is a subset of itself so when we are counting the subset we have to count the set itself as a subset so every subset is a subset of itself and then the second property is null set is a subset of every set we have already seen what is null set with no elements phi denoted by phi this is called a phi an empty subset or null sub null set this is a subset of every set if i go with this set a then phi will be the subset of this set so these are all the subset of this set no more than we can sub, uh, we can include and no more than any any set which is a subset of a and what we do if i make a set of all these subset that means if i make a set of all subset of a set then that set is called a power set what is a power set power set is a set of all subset of a set then the set is called power set that means we take a set a we derive all the subsets and we make a, this a complete set then this set is called a power set so what is power set power set is a set of all subset of a set a Let's have some questions on the topic of subset. Then find the subset of these set. Okay. As a question number one, I have a set A in which there are two elements one and two, and we find we have to find the subset of this set. All the subset of this set. So all the subset of this set, we have a property that null set is a subset of every set. So the first subset is a null set. Okay. Then what is the first subset? Is A set of element one. This is a subset of A because uh, it follows the property of subset that every element of this set is a uh, is in A. So this is a subset of this. As according to this definition, this is also a subset of this set one comma two. And the next subset is uh, we have another property. This every subset every set is a subset of itself. So we can say that this is a subset of itself. so these are the four subset i can draw from this sub this set uh, other than these four we can't draw any of set which is a subset of set a these are the maximum we have drawn so these are the four subset we can draw from this set okay and according to the definition of power set 
what is a power set set of all subset is called a power set so what is the power set of set a power set of set a this a set of all subset is called the power set okay so uh, we find all the subset of set a and we make a set of all these sub subsets then this set is called a power set power set is generally denoted by the letter p okay let's go for another example this is a set set b in which there are three elements we are going to derive the subsets of this set so we start with null set now we know that null set is a subset of every set then what we do we go with the single tone sets means how many single tone set i can draw from this set um, set with single element so set with single every element of set b these three are the single tone set i can make from this set so these three are the subset of set b i have already know and what i do next to find the subset make a pair of two element make a pair of two element and make a set for example p and q this is a set is a subset of set b okay and p comma r this is a set is a subset of set b i go with this p q p r and then next is q r these three are the set with two elements is a subset of set b okay and what i have to do next every subset is a subset of itself okay i go with the number of elements i make subset with number of elements 1 number of elements 2 and the number of elements 3 that will be equal to the number of elements in the main set then these are the subset okay total subsets how many subsets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so how many subsets are there eight subset are there and what if i make a set of all these subset then this set is called the power set of b p of b okay how many sub, uh, how many elements are in the power set of set a there are 1 2 3 and 4 4 elements in this there are eight elements now we go with this in this set set c there are four elements 1 a 2 comma b you know element of set can be anything and everything because we have a definition of set is collection of objects the objects can be anything so we have four elements and what we have to do we have to find the subset of these set so i start with the null element then i go with the single tone set that is 1 that is a that is 2 and that is b okay now what we have to do we we'll go with the pair of elements means the set with two elements i will go with 1 comma a 1 comma 2 1 comma b okay then a comma 2 a comma b then 2 comma b okay these are the set with two elements are the subset of set c two elements sets are complete now we go with the elements with three elements 1 comma a comma 2 then 1 comma a comma b then 1 comma 2 comma b then a comma 2 comma b okay and the last set is 1 comma a comma 2 comma b this these are the subset of this set how we draw the subset how we find the subset starting with the null set then the set of single tone set then the set of uh, two element set then a set of three element set then the four element set this is equal to the number of elements in the our set then these are all the uh, subset we can find out from the set c okay and what is the power set of set c power set of set c is set of these all subsets these all subset set of these all subset is called the power set of c and how many elements are there you can count that these are 16 elements in the power set of c okay we have some relation between the number of elements and the uh, number of element in a power set for example if we have two elements in a set we have four uh, four subsets that means number of elements in a power set are four if we have three elements then we get there are eight subsets so what is the relation the number of subset is equal to 
2 raised to power n. What is n? n is the number of element in our set, then number of subset equal to 2 to the power n and that will be equal to number of element in power set. Okay. So, the question is, question can be asked that how many subsets you can draw from a set, the number of elements equal to 2, 2 raised to power n and the question can be that how can be, how many elements can be in the power set of set A in also you can uh, get it by the 2 raised to power n and is the number of element in your set A. You can cross check A equal, uh, in A there are 2 elements, so number of elements in the power set is 2 raised to power 2 that will be equal to 4, number of elements are 3. So, we can find that 2 raised to power 3. So, there are 8 elements and here number of elements are 4. So, 2 raised to power 4 that will be equal to 16 elements. So, in this way we can find the power set, we can find the number of elements in a sub, uh, power set. Okay? If you like my video, you can like, comment and share on YouTube. Thank you.